Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show for Monday Night Football here in Week 10 of the 2021 NFL season, and got a pretty exciting matchup NFC West divisional game. So let's just jump right in. Tonight's game got the LA Rams taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Rams coming to this game seven and two on the season. 49ers are three and five. And you know, let's just be straight up honest about this 49ers team right now. They're not good. You know, they have not really looked good all season. Their wins that they do have um, were against very bad teams. And Kyle Shanahan currently finds himself on one of the hottest seats in the NFL. Um, maybe I'll say to Matt Nagy, who let's be honest, dude, why in the heck has he not been fired yet? But um, besides the point, you know, it, it feels like Kyle Shanahan's time in San Francisco um, is very much nearing the end unless he can turn something around this season. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo also on the hot seat, you know, after, you know, that huge contract um, in a Super Bowl trip, you know, the going out and drafting Trey Lance so early shows that they could be ready to move on. And he's had a okay season obviously he was out for a few weeks with the injury um 1754 yards on the year only eight touchdowns for him so um hasn't necessarily had you know anything special um george kittle has been impressive though you know he's a guy who has definitely um come back better than ever 328 yards on the season for him but the real biggest highlight and maybe the only highlight for this 49ers team on the offensive side of the ball has been debo samuel who you know is currently slowed down a little bit because of his injury you know he's caught 882 yards this season didn't really do a whole lot of anything last week against the cardinals and who knows exactly you know how healthy he is what he's going to look like against the rams this week um i have the mitchell also stepping up in the run game um filling in for some guys there so you know this 49er team don't get me wrong they have a lot of injuries but that's been the 49ers for what like the last four years i mean sure they made that super bowl run in the middle but outside of that, it's just injury after injury after injury. They can never keep guys healthy, never keep guys on the field. Um, and they're only putting up 23.13 points per game on the offensive side of the ball. As far as the Rams go, obviously a big time disappointing loss against the Titans last week. You know, um, really an unexplicable loss for that. You can't, there's just no really words to explain that. Matt Stafford has, you know, been a pretty good quarterback all year. Didn't look great in that game. He's passed for 2,700 um, yards on the year, 32 touchdowns for him, and in no small part because of Cooper Cup, you know. Cooper Cup has been on absolute fire, already over 1,000 yards, 1,019 yards on the year for him. Van Jefferson, Robert Woods have also been pretty good targets. Um, Tyler Higby also the number one tight end option there. So, you know, got one of the better wide receiver groups, at least on paper, in the National Football League at the moment. And Cooper Cup has just been on fire with those guys. Um, also bring back a pretty good offensive line from last year that, you know, has played pretty well. And it's definitely helped boost Stafford's production this season. Um, and, and while Stafford, don't get me wrong, has, has looked like a great quarterback you know looks like it works out for the drams um pretty well you know goff still hasn't won a game with the lions so it's hard to argue that the rams didn't win the trade um but offensively you know this rams team is putting up 29 points per game um which is good but when you really dissect the wins and, and dissect what they've done you know the loss to the titans and the cardinals two good teams and then the rest of the wins aren't necessarily, you know, the greatest wins in the world. And um, I, well, I think this Rams team is still a pretty good team. Um, I just don't think they're on that next elite level um, that a lot of people were, you know, were hyping them up to be just a few weeks ago. And even some people still now, um, you know, the Rams are far away from what they were with that Super Bowl team. You know, um, the defense is not what it once was. Granted, going out and trading for Vaughn Miller is a huge step in the right direction. You know, when you have Vaughn Miller, Aaron Donald, Jalen, and Ramsey all on the defensive side of the ball, it's hard to say that you don't have a good defense. And, and I'm not saying the Rams don't have a good defense because they do have a pretty good defense. They've only allowed 21.78 points per game this season, which let's be honest, any team in the NFL is going to take that stat line. Um, and the 49ers defense has not been good at all. You know, um, really, again, injuries have have got the best of them um, and they haven't played great. Only or they are allowing 25.25 points per game on the defensive side of the ball. And when it really comes right down to it, the 49ers are not a good football team right now, even at home in this game against a, a Rams team who's, who's coming off that loss. I think that loss to the Titans is really going to spark something under this Rams team. I mean, it's going to do one of two things. It's either going to spark something in this, under this Rams team or just show that they're not a great team overall. And, and personally, I think they are pretty good. And I think against a, a not great 49ers team, um, they'll rebound pretty well. 
you know, it, it does come down to the fact, though, divisional games, no matter who it's against, are always going to be close. The home team, you know, is always going to have some sort of an edge. Um, and, and while I say that, I just don't like this 49ers team. I think they're going to get their absolute doors blown off by this Rams team. Um, and I don't even think it's really going to be that close. I think this Rams team is going to be very hungry after that Titans loss and, and out the proof something. So give me the Rams minus four against the 49ers. That is it for Monday Night Football here in Week 10. If you want to see more NFL college football action, head over to hotdebest.com. Check out all that out there. Also, obviously, got college basketball going up every day on the YouTube channel on hotdebest.com. So take a look at all of that over there. Um, also, NBA, NHL picks from the computer model. So lots of stuff going on in the sports world right now. If you're not already following me at Hot to Best Chris on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you follow me there so you don't miss out on any future content as well as on the Best Stamp app where you can get early access to all of the picks right before I record each episode here for youtube also follow the hot tip main account on twitter instagram facebook tiktok to stay up to date with all of the computer model action over there and last but not least if you're watching here on youtube hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content and most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on for monday night football and thanks for watching today's episode i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>